Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, let us discuss about one important skin disease that is Anaxonlin purpura. It's not actually skin disease, it's a purpuric rash all over the uh, lower limbs, mainly in the lower limbs. And sometimes it can lead to internal organ problems like renal damage can occur, other uh, immune mediated complications can occur, but uh, that all rare. But commonly it present as purpura. We know that purpura can be due to various conditions. Purpura can be due to vasculitis. Purpura can be due to uh, thrombocytopenia. Purpura can be due to infections. In that uh, immune mediated purpuras, that is vasculitic purpuras or palpable purpura, that is a main uh, differentiation between other types of purpura, especially thrombocytopenic purpura to uh, vascular purpura. Vascular purpura are, are always uh, palpable purpura, so you can palpate over the skin. It's a immune mediated, immune complex mediated small vessel vasculitis, especially in the skins, mainly in the lower limbs. It is an IgA mediated vasculitis, so it is otherwise called as IgA vasculitis. Previously, it was known as Henoxonlin purpura, both names we can use. It's a form of leukocytoclastic vasculitis. If you take a biopsy from the skin, most of the time the, uh, the pathologist may report it as leukocytoclastic vasculitis. It's characterized by inflammation and necrosing involving small vessels, predominantly postcapillary venules, capillaries, arterioles. So mostly it will be confined to the skin. Rarely it produces uh, uh, internal organ damage, especially kidney damage can occur in rare conditions. It can also involve GI tract, kidneys, joints, lungs and other areas that is very very rare. Disease is very benign in children, mostly it is seen in children only, but in them they are, the disease is benign. But when it occurs in adults, sometimes it can produce uh, uh, complications like internal organ complication can occur. Most of these uh, children may have a trigger that is an upper respiratory tract infection one to two weeks prior to the skin uh, lesions. Many patients can have prodromal symptoms like headache, anorexia, feverish feeling, all these things. Then patient develops rashes. Uh, mainly that rashes are seen in the lower limbs. They are palpable rashes. 90 to 100 percent of the cases these rashes are uh, seen. Abdominal pain and vomiting can be there in many patients. 35 to 85 percent of the patients this is uh, seen. Joint pains 60 to 84 percent you can get. Especially knees, knee joint and ankle joints you can get uh, joint pains. Some patients can have subcutaneous edema, scrotal edema and blood in the stools. So these uh, uh, abnormal findings like abdominal pain, joint pains, uh, generalized edema, blood in stools all shows some uh, like uh, complication, internal organ complications. So we have to be very careful when we are dealing with such patients. You can see here patient can have lower limb palpable purpura mainly in the calf areas patient can also have uh, purpuras above that also in the gluteal area thigh area rarely it goes to the upper part of the body so this is a classical condition where you get palpable purpuras in the lower limb in children now some patients can have abdominal pain bleeding diarrhea arthritis all these things we have seen 30 to 50 percent of the children can have acute glomerulonephritis. They can present with hematuria, hypertension, abdominal, abnormal renal function tests like elevated creatinine urea. Some can have proteinuria also. Colicky abdominal pain is seen in many patients. Rarely some patients can have bleeding per rectum or melina. Indecision can develop in some children. Occult blood can be positive in many uh, children. Upper respiratory tract infection uh, can occur prior to the uh, skin lesions. It can be due to streptococcal infection also. Remember, streptococcal infection 
itself can produce skin lesion that is scarlet fever you can see uh, uh, many other infections also can have upper respiratory infection with uh, generalized rashes adult onset chills disease can have same problem like uh, uh, sore throat then uh, fever rashes so there are a lot of differential diagnosis for this type of diseases but fortunately this disease is a benign disease and the lesions are mainly confined to the lower limb but rarely this disease can become problematic chronic dis kidney disease can develop in patients who are adults and who develop uh, uh, this type of vasculitis kidneys are rarely in involved in this type of condition especially in adults so you can uh, th uh, think about this disease by remembering uh, uh, this mnemonic his pass hematuria igia related vasculitis so, small children are commonly affected skin purpuric lesions in the lower limb they are palpable purpuras proteinuria abdominal uh, pain arthralgia streptococcal sore throat is common trigger for this disease we can see the investigation patient uh, like blood test we can do complete blood count uh, we have to rule out thrombocytopenia Uh, because thrombocytopenia is one of the major cause for uh, purpuric rashes but that purpuric rashes are mainly in the trunk upper limb and uh, wherever we are tying bp apparatus bp cuff that areas uh, this purpuric rashes are very common but here patient is having only lower limb purpuras very rarely upper limb and trunk will be involved ptnr should be done because any bleeding tendency any purpura we have to always check ptnr aptt platelet count renal function test very rarely uh, this hsp can lead to kidney disorders complement level should be done sometimes complements can be low if, since it is a complement mediated attack serum iga levels are elevated in 50 to 70% of the patients with iga vasculitis higher levels are associated with renal involvement so you can see here one of the easiest thing uh, easiest investigation uh, which is available to diagnose uh, enox schonlin purpura is a local skin biopsy skin biopsy may show it as a leukocytoclastic vasculitis of small vessels so skin lesions should be taken uh, for biopsy and that will give a diagnosis of iga deposits in small vessels in the skin viewed by the immunofluorescent microscopy and inflammation of small vessels in the skin now once the kidneys are involved we have to do some investigation like creatinine urea complement levels low complement levels are classically seen since, since it is a uh, complement mediated injury kidney biopsy may show mild mesangial proliferation to crescent glomerular nephritis that should be done if there is a elevated uh, urea creatinine level or persistent proteinuria management is very very simple because most of these conditions are benign we no need to give any treatment without any major treatment itself this may subside but remember some children and some adults this may not come down without any major treatment now most of the patients treatment uh, is not required you can uh, treat with only supportive therapy Uh, you can give paracetamol or some skin soothing agents but those who having uh, uh, like persistent disease we can, we have to give prednisolone 1 mg per kg body weight for a short period then discontinue it but in adults sometimes it can persistent so that we have to add steroid sparing agents like azathioprine 50 mg once daily some patients may require cyclophosphamide cyclosporin patients who is having persistent proteinuria should be started on ac inhibitors or arb uh, you can start losartan candisartan ubisartan whatever drug you prefer you can give they can reduce the proteinuria dipyridamol or aspirin paracetam uh, aspirin or uh, clopidogrel can be given in patients who is having persistent kidney damage high dose iv ig should be given in patients who in acute problem like acute kidney injury there we can use Uh, IVIG, Danosol, fish oil, all are supportive therapy. So we have uh, discussed about one of the uh, important benign condition that is uh, Enoch Schonlein purpura. Uh, 
uh, but it can present as thrombocytopenia to emergency room they can have severe abdominal pain sometimes they can have a peripheral uh, purpuric rashes all over the body and most of the time these purpuric rashes can be confined to lower limb in a in majority of the patient but some patients can have generalized purpuric rashes it has got lot of differential diagnosis it can be due to thrombocytopenia it can be due to adult onset stills disease it can be due to meningococcemia so so many differential diagnosis for uh, this type of diseases so it is uh, better to know about this disease so that uh, without any major treatment itself uh, patient may improve uh, but uh, whereas other condition like uh, thrombocytopenia or adult onset of stills disease or meningococcemia require uh very aggressive treatment so the knowledge about this type of uh, uh, benign differential diagnosis for uh, purpura sir also very very important thank you